Peace, love, and light, you beautiful, beautiful people. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do a general reading for the Scorpio Collective. I will, everyone is coming up out of their strong end, feeling powerful, feeling healthy, feeling just encouraged, inspired, feeling healthy mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. I wanted to open up the week with a beautiful general reading for you all. I have been very busy, um, as always. I try to keep myself busy if you haven't realized that. Um, I've been working on a lot of uh, projects. I've been starting to upload more meditative videos on my Light Activator Esoteric Sounds channel. Um, you will find the link below. Um, I'm just starting it off very slow, very gradually. It will improve with time. Um, just getting my feet wet, dipping my feet and my toe in there. Uh, but I do see some momentum. I see there's, you know, some, some, some activity. It's, it's getting active on that side. Um, I just really feel it's very important to stay grounded, you know, especially in these days and times. Um, it's just very hectic. We are all in need of that time to just woo to ground ourselves, to just stay connected, you know, to not get too far ahead of ourselves. So, um, you know, sometimes the tower readings, it could be a little much. Maybe sometimes it's necessary for you to just get in touch with your own thoughts. And that's why I really enjoy making the meditative videos. And there's going to come a point in time where I may just be uploading uh, to that site uh, because I really want to encourage people to not be so dependent on tarot readers or on a reading, you know, um, because too much of anything isn't good for you. You know, um, me being a reader, uh, I know for myself that I had to, you know, kind of unplug from that. Um, it's very rare that I even watch tarot readers with the exception of, you know, what I may be doing, you know, for the collective generally, um, you know, I don't really sit around all day watching tarot reads, uh, because I'm really more so focused on doing the work, you know, whatever was very, um, resonant in a reading, if there is a reading I may have come across and there were some fruits of knowledge in it. I try, not try, I mostly focus on applying some of the, um, you know, some of the uh, information. I try applying those skill sets and tools uh, to change my circumstance. So just sitting around listening to readings all day isn't going to change your circumstance. Um, you have to actually do the work. That's why I do the work. It's It's almost becoming like, it's just something to say, you know, you have to do the work in order to see, you know, the results, you know, so I will, everyone is doing their work, you know, and the work is internal, um, even physical work. If you feel like you kind of got to beside yourself and, and, and maybe you packed on some weight during these pandemic months, these past couple of years, you know, it's been hectic. You know, we've all fallen victim, uh, but it's like now it's time to like implement the work, man. It's time to do the work. We can't hide behind the the the, the words and and just you know the um, the verbiage. We have to actually do the work. So I will. You all are doing the work um, because I'm doing mine. You know, I don't really have a lot of time. Uh, because I'm always busy. I keep myself busy and I try to um, impart that to you all so as such so that you don't get and become complacent. You know, I even instill that in my children. Like, don't ever get comfortable. Don't ever get comfortable. Don't laze around because time is just passing you by. There's always something to do, always something to learn. Uh, so it's very important for you to master yourselves. Um, but I digress. Um, so I will, everyone is blissed. As I said, if you are new, welcome to the channel. Uh, my name is Q. I am a Scorpio. I channel messages intuitively. I'm an empath and I am also clairaudient. So you will hear music playing in the background and the way 
that it works is the messages in the song, whether by means of the name of the artist, the lyrics within the song, the name of the song, maybe even the timestamp of the song. It will resonate with what's coming out in the tarot cards as well as what I may be channeling intuitively. Right now, we have Yuna, and the name of this song is called Live Your Life. So um, I was shuffling the cards and one of the cards that flew out was number three, creativity from the numerology deck. And this is a sunny, bright yellow card. It's all yellow. Even in the symbol, it is all yellow. And the number three is associated with the empress. So I do feel a sense of empowerment. Uh, strength, owning your power. Uh, some of you all have turned your pain into power. I feel like with this energy, there's a sense of you all being very creative at this time. So you could be birthing new ideas, uh, tapping into your creativity or your artistry, uh, because that is your divinity as that divine feminine and divine masculine energy. Uh, but I do feel this strong sense of you all now living your purpose with Yuna saying, live your life. I feel a lot of you have taken control and you are now being the leaders, the boss, you're moving with a force with that sense of you know, attentiveness, assertiveness, um, and a surety, like you're sure of what you're doing. You're, you're fearless. Um, and so this is a very pu beautiful energy. Um, the three is associated also with the, uh, solar plexus. That's your third chakra. And the solar plexus is really the sun that shines within. So I do feel that there's been a lot of healing and in healing thyself, I feel like you've discovered a lot about yourself, including, um, what what your soul's purpose, mission, and path is, what your passions may be, um, even what needed to be healed within yourself so that you can move forward and have a brand new start. The sun is really about strength, power. It is a source of food. It is illumination. It's clarity. Um, but there's also a burning desire that is now erupting within you that may have been lying dormant. Um, right now we have Erica Badu and this is called didn't you know? So I do feel like a lot of you all have discovered something that you may not have always known. And it is that you are worthy. You know your worth now. Um, we had Yuna saying, live your life. Maybe in the past you were very imprisoned. Um, maybe a lot of you all were stuck in relationships that were dead ends. Uh, maybe you were dealing with people who were a uh, fugazi, fakes, frauds, frenemies, enemies, even family. Um, the people closest to you could have disappointed you, could have used you, could have backstabbed you, betrayed you. And now it's like, you know, you're reflecting, you know, self-awareness. You're going within and you're realizing that there was a lot of red flags that you didn't pay attention to. And that's why Erica Badu is saying, didn't you know? So it's like you knew uh, deep down that something wasn't right, but you decided to ignore those red flags, ignore the signs and the synchronicities. But now that you're in this number three energy, the Empress with this very beautiful uh, yellow card, I feel like now you're in this knowingness. Um, there is a sense of clarity and maybe you all are now planning and preparing a particular direction now. Um, because what she says in the song, um, uh, Ooh, hey, I'm trying to decide which way to go. Think I made a wrong turn back there somewhere. So it's like you realize now the mistakes you made in your past. And so this time around, you're going to plan, prepare, because this three could also be like the three of wands where you're planning and preparing because you have this strong expectation of something succeeding this time around. And I feel like it's because this time around, you know, your worth and value this time around, you're in your power this time around, you're standing up for what you believe in. You're not backing down and uh, you've established boundaries and it's because of whatever you've experienced experience it has taught you uh so now that you are well learned you're not going to uh duplicate or repeat the same mistakes that you've made in the past so let's go ahead and see what we got coming in with our beautiful energy uh if you are new here uh my readings are general so my spiel is eat 
the fish spit out the bones if it doesn't apply just let it fly by please know that you're more than just your sun sign so please check your other placements uh, there's a link below in my description box that will take you to a site which will generate your natal chart and your natal chart will explain to you what you have in your different placements uh, so you will discover what your moon sign is, what your rising or ascendant sign, what's in your Venus, your Mercury, your Mars, etc., etc. This will give you a broader understanding of who you are. Ashe. Um, my readings are also timeless. So whenever you find yourself clicking on this video or whenever you see this video just popping up in your feed, that was divine timing intended for you all to just click on the video. If anything in the title, the timestamp resonates. So two cards just flew out and we have self-discipline and I was just chiming on self-discipline. So I do feel and then we have patience. So I do feel like there's been a lot of work on the self. 41 reduces to five. That five is associated with the hierophant. That's also the throat chakra. And your throat chakra is your expression. Um, you've learned how to express yourselves and not just any old expression you're expressing expressing yourself from your higher self so there is a sense that you all have um, come into spiritual alignment there is this awareness this knowingness uh, the hierophant is a wizard um, is like a master teacher it's very informed very worldly very intelligent uh, he could be seen as as I said a master teacher a pastor um, someone who is uh, very skilled. This is who you would go to to seek higher wisdom, to get the advice. Uh, some of you could be sitting at the feet of the elders in your family, whether that be a matriarch or a patriarch, which would be like a grand aunt, grandmother, a grand uncle, a grandfather, maybe even your mothers and fathers. Um, but this is when you are receiving fruits of knowledge from those who have come before you, who have the experience. And I feel that you have been very, very um, focused on growing. Um, the five is, like I said, associated with the throat chakra and your throat chakra is really a way of expressing yourself, uh, not just communicatively, but also expressing yourself through my, uh, means of your creative and artistic skills, gifts and talents. So I do feel as you were really seeking higher wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the self, uh, whether by means of studying your basic instructions before leaving Earth or going and sitting at the feet of an elder, going to a pastor, a master teacher, or someone who is a spiritual practitioner, I feel like you have been growing in that level of understanding of yourself. And you've also discovered what your purpose is, what your passions are. Um, we've seen repeatedly that number uh, 23 music card come out in the past couple of readings, both in the yin reading that I did previously and the yang reading. Uh, so that's telling me that a lot of you all, not only are you clairaudient, not only do you have an affinity, a passion for music, but I feel a lot of you are ordained, you are anointed, you are called to do music, you are here to um, express yourselves musically, artistically. I was picking up on some of you all being composers of music, some of you all writing music, sheet music, playing instruments, some of you, your vocal cords are out of this world. You could blow, baby, like you could blow like none other I'm seeing Duke Ellington I'm seeing Dizzy Gillespie, Gillespie blowing trumpets horns saxophones but I'm also seeing Whitney Houston just belting out Luther Vandross belting out a Michael Jackson a Prince it's just you have a skill and it is just like they came and impacted the world and changed it I feel like many of you all that is the the effect that you all are um, ordained and anointed to have because it's going to heal the collective. That music from yesterday, that's why it's, I feel like it's banned. They don't want that music to, to really emotionally uh, impact the collective because that means there will be a whole lot more um, 
you know, awakenings, you know, people coming into their truths, people getting connected to their higher selves. That's what the music of yesteryears uh, really does. That's why I stay engulfed in that because it really inspires me and really keeps me grounded. The earth winds and fires, uh, like I said, the Luthers, the Whitney's, the Michaels, the princes, you know, a lot of these beautiful musicians who have, um, really set the bar high and I feel like some of you all have these same skills gifts and talents and you have been chosen uh, to utilize these skills gifts and talents so you can wake up the next generations so that you could leave your mark your legacy uh, you know here on this planet um, so that's a beautiful, beautiful energy. Um, also, patience flew out. So I do feel like you all have been very, very patient with this process. Like you cannot rush anything and think you're going to have some positive results. That's just not how it works. Um, there's always a need for you to to take your time to get things right. Patience allows you uh, the opportunity to really assess the directions you want to go um, in because when you speed and, and rush along and hurry along, Long, it's like you can miss those fine details um, patience is really a form of action as well so it's not what you're doing but it's what you choose to do um, in those moments where you are um, you know supposedly waiting for something to come in are you just waiting and wasting time uh, which is what I was picking up earlier in the reading um, or are you waiting and still being diligent still being um, disciplined in your skill mastering it um, because as I said if you're just sitting around listening to tower reads all day and you're not implementing the works the changes within the self I'm telling you, none of the stuff that's being said in the readings are going to apply to you these these readings are for those doing the work when you're doing the work, you will see the results. And that's why there's a lot of people that leave their comments saying, you're talking about me, this happened, that happened, because they're doing the work. They've experienced those things because they've implemented the necessary changes. We have the OJ sing and cry together. So I do feel like a lot of you all, you have shed a many a tears uh, because the process just seemed so, so drawn out so 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 long um and you just maybe you couldn't see the end um you know you there, there was just like there was no end you just you felt like you've just been going through something constantly but spirit is let, letting you know like good things take time to create you know nothing comes easily you know nothing good anyway you know it's always going to require work it's going to require you that to, to have that patience, to have that resilience, to, to, to really keep that momentum going. Um, because when you can just really, you know, when you could give up easily for something that you supposedly want so bad, um, spirit is second guessing like, okay, do you really want it? You know, are you really going to appreciate it when you get it? If you're, if you're just like, you know, willing to give up so easily because it's not coming when you want, then maybe you don't really want it. You know, so it's like you have to show uh, spirit that you're going to not only appreciate it, but you're willing to work for whatever it is that you want. Um, and, and, and that's why I said the work is very important. Uh, and I do feel like you all have been doing the work. And I feel like intuitively you all know the importance of patience because that patience allows you the time to to really ground yourself and and balance yourself out as well um you know so that too is associated with the the high priestess uh and the hierophant and high priestess are pretty much one in the same they're both very very wise they carry ancient wisdom and they are the keepers of ancient wisdom as well so it's like they, the knowledge the fruits of knowledge that they um are are in um that they have access to um is really doing part to uh whatever they've whatever experiences they've had to endure so they did the work which is why some of you all now are in this energy of you know the two patients because you've done the work so that's beautiful to see so we have right now um positive force and this is called we got the funk so i do feel like a lot of you all you may feel like with positive force, I just feel like there is a very, very profound um, protective energy around you all. And I feel that it's because you are radiating a very strong 
strong energy of positivity, of love, of light, of confidence, of strength, of self-discipline, respect, integrity. Um, and this is naturally going to be very attractive and very magnetic. And so not only will you pull in and draw the attention of other like minds, but you will also have the potential of pulling in and drawing in a lot of negative um, energy as well. The energy vampires, you know, the parasites, the leeches, you know, that, that, that those succubus type of energies because of your positivity. Um, we all know that, you know, the negative loves, it's drawn to, you know, that positive energy because it could feed off of it. You know, like I said, it's very par uh, parasitic. It's a spiritual parasite. Uh, so you'll notice a lot of times in, in those relationship dynamics where you are dealing with a narcissist or something of that sort, they're always attracted to the empaths they're always attracted to the light to the light energy to that positivity um, because they could feed off of it you know unbeknownst to that empath you know the empath is, is just doing what empaths do showing love spreading love and that narcissist knows exactly what it's doing which is sucking all of the life force from that person and so they're leaving them you know kind of um kind of uh, depleted energetically. So be mindful of who you have around you uh, because I do have a feeling and an energy um, and just a sense that there's a lot of people kind of lurking. Nobody's approaching, but they're watching. Got a lot of eyes watching. Um, some of these people smile and beguile in your face, pat you on your back, make it seem like they're happy for you, but they're deep down jealous, envious. There's disdain. There's a competition, a secret competition that they've made up in their own minds. But this competition is what they use as a means, as fuel to try to plan, plot, scheme a way to perhaps take you down a notch. Because it's like, obviously, if they're looking at you as someone who's above them, then you obviously are um, just just calling it what it is you are and you're not looking at it in that regard you're looking at it as a means of like look i'm working on myself i'm improving i'm evolving i'm growing i'm elevating and and they're looking at it as oh you think you're better you think you're you know i'm gonna show you something like it's it's a very negative energy and this could be family this could be your fake friends um remember the people closest to you are the ones that you learn the toughest lessons from and that is a very, very painful, painful truth. Um, but it is also very necessary for you to understand that everybody does not function on the same level. They don't have that same compass of respect, you know. So you could be functioning and operating from a space of love and light. That doesn't mean everybody else is doing that. You know what I'm talking about? So I digress. I don't know why, but I felt the need to really drop them jewels on you all. So um, let's go ahead and delve deeper. I got to do some house cleaning before we go any further. I would like to call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ah, shay. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Baba Ogun, and Mama Oya to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, the number synchronicity and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mode it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So right now we have the uh, OJs yet again and they're singing my darling, darling baby. So some of you all, we got 56 relationship change on the bottom of the deck. Remember, we had three cards that jumped out as I was shuffling. And that was creativity, number three, self-discipline, number 41, and patience, number two. F um, 56 uh, relationship changes on the bottom of the deck. And this card is letting me know with darling, darling baby that some of you all may have parted ways with someone. 
um, because I feel like maybe, you know, it's just a sense of, like I said, maybe you wasn't getting what you was needing um, from a situation and now you're just really working on the self. You're really improving yourself. There was a lot of red flags, um, but somebody really does have some sort of love, some sort of affinity with 56. That's a number 11. Um, maybe you felt like somebody was kind of like, you know, juggling you. Um, there was obviously some sense of, you know, a decision. Someone made a decision, a choice. Maybe you have new love coming in. That could be, you know, like a twin flame, somebody who feels like you're their darling, darling baby. So give me one moment. I'm sorry. All right. Thank you for your patience, y'all. My apologies. So like I said, with this relationship change, um, if you all are single, this could be saying that you potentially have someone new coming in that does, you know, that will show you love. Like this person is going to treat you like, you know, the, you're their baby. You know, they're going to have a lot of love um, and they're going to treat you right because they know that you have that sense of self-love for yourself. So you're not going to be like, you know, taking too much crap for anyone this time around. So you really have somebody that's going to treat you very darling, very dear, um, like you're dear to them. Like they're going to show you that they care. They're going to show you with their actions. It's not going to be so much talk and no action. So right now we have, um, who is this? We have, uh, this is Sue Dan. I can't even see the name. I'm, I'm sorry. It says not for sale. So that's the name of the song. So I definitely feel like, you know, your soul is not for sale. So whoever you were dealing with, you know, in your past, you felt like you sold yourself short this time around. You're not for sale. You're not playing any games because you're in that, like I said, in that, um, Define feminine energy with the number three that came out and then with self-discipline that's just showing that you're really operating and um you know from a space of integrity self-respect you you know your worth you, you're not going to sell yourself short so your soul is not for sale and maybe somebody sold their soul you know somebody could have played themselves you know somebody definitely could have played themselves and that could have uh, been the reason why the relationship changed between you and this person because you saw them for who they were we have number th uh, 63 this is what's hidden number uh, 63 is parenting so some of you all this could have been an ex you know a toxic ex mother father some of you all could be dealing with a toxic mother or father you know mother or father to your children um, or the mother or father like your you know your your own mother's fathers you know there's something I feel that uh, with not for sale and that we have physical activity, which is 6713, um, something ended. I feel like you're not selling yourself short anymore um, because some of those relationships, you realize you weren't getting what you needed. Um, maybe they were very one sided. You know, maybe the family were, you know, kind of using you to take care of them, you know, convincing you that you were supposed to sacrifice um, your time and energy just giving, um, but you wasn't getting anything back. You wasn't getting anything in return, not even, you know, the love from that maternal or paternal fi um, figure. And so maybe you, you, you were selling yourself short, you know, right now we have, you'll never find a better, um, woman by, uh, Tedra Moses. So, yeah, so this is like, you, you walked away from something because, you know, even if you're masculine, it's like, you realize like, yo, uh, you, what you're doing is not, um, appreciated. It isn't valued is expected. Um, and I feel like there was a very strong need for you to stand up for yourselves and take the, take control back. Um, I'm strongly feeling like there was a lot of just, a lack of reciprocity in these connections. There was no activity. It was like you were almost parenting your parents, mothering your mother, fathering your fathers, um, paying their bills, you know, calling them to, to check in and they're, you're listening to their complaints. Um, and they're not inquiring on how you're feeling or what's going on with you or your children. So some of you all have a very estranged relationship with your own parents I'm picking up that type of um, dynamic some of you all have always been you know the the black sheep you know you've been the odd man the odd woman out like you've never been accepted as much as say that sibling you know uh, you know the sibling the other siblings if you have multiple you know you've always been the one the one that everybody deemed was weird different 
um, but you've always felt like you weren't a part of the family. It was almost like you were very much treated um, differently, perhaps, from the others. I'm picking up some of you may have different uh, fathers. If you are dealing with a mother like this, maybe you have a different father um, from the other siblings. And maybe that is the reason why you were treated different differently is because that uh, father figure, you know, your fathers um, and perhaps your mothers didn't get along or maybe the mother didn't particularly like your fathers. So they treated you different, differently and you always felt that. And if that isn't the case, maybe it's the opposite way around. Maybe if you have fathers um, that were treating you differently. Um, if you're a masculine, it's because maybe they were a little jelly that you turned out to be more successful than they may have ever been. Maybe you've accomplished more in your lives and your careers. Some of you all went off to college or maybe you learned a trade and some of you all started a business. I'm seeing like a mechanic, you know, I'm seeing a man, you know, um, working under a hood you know, with black hands, just working hard. And, and someone's very jealous because maybe you've opened up your own body shop, auto body shop. Maybe you have like, uh, um, where you do like custom paints or tinting. You provide some sort of service like that. Um, if it is an auto body, maybe you install like TVs and lights and you have a crazy clientele where you're getting you, where your clientele um, just word of mouth. People see somebody's car driving down the road with all these lights and, you know, TVs and they're like, yo, who did your car? And it's like, oh, I went to such and such. And your small business may have blown up. You know, maybe you started out working in your own garage and, and now you have enough money coming in where you're renting space and maybe your father's. You know, it's like they were trying to live vicariously through you all, but there's like jealousy. There's a sense of like jealousy and envy because of the success that you had that they've never been able to accomplish. But it's because you were driven, you were ambitious, and you did not allow what they could have been saying to negate whatever uh, insp inspiration you may have had for your passion. It's like you chose to ignore that and keep it pushing, and now you're successful and they want to come around for a handout. They have nothing to do with your success, and that's why I feel they're really frustrated. But that's for some of you because I'm picking up on that energy strongly. Even if you're a feminine energy, I'm seeing like a beauty shop. I'm seeing like a beauty shop, someone who's learned everything about like nails, cosmetology. Like you could do it all, threading of the eyebrows, henna tattoos. It's like you're a all like a one-stop um, one um, self-care. Like that's something maybe even some of you all are thinking about doing. Like maybe you started off in cosmetology and you broadened your horizons and said, you know what, I'm going to learn about nails. I'm going to learn how to do henna. I'm going to learn how to do threading. Because it's like you don't just want to go work for someone. You want to open up your own like spa. And you want to be able to teach people how you do it. You know, and even those who may already know, but there's a way that you've learned that you want it to be something very unique to your shop. Some of you all could be like making, um, creating or making your own like wigs, like you're styling wigs and you're getting a lot of clientele. Like you may have been broke down, but you use you use like some of your, I'm seeing somebody using like their tax money and flipping it. You could have went to, you know, some sort sort of wholesale wig shop and just bought a bunch of wigs and in different styles and, and like you're styling them and people are like, yo, where did you get that hair? And, you know, when you're walking out, like you're, you're advertising your own workings, you know, even with your nails, like you, you, you're advertising you because you're using your products, you're wearing your products. But, um, I'm picking up on that as well. So that's powerful. And that's why that creative card jumped out first because that is a very creative energy to be in you know what i'm saying some people some of you all like i said are musicians man and, and people are hearing like the, the your beats and they're just like who did that who produced this and you're like oh i did it and it's just something so different so out of this world so refreshing and it's like people are just like oh my god can you can you like can you hook me up <laughs> like you know what i'm saying how much for a beat
And now you're starting to see like people are willing to to pay for your beats, pay for your production. You know, I had left a um, I shared a video this uh, brother that I just it just kind of popped up in my feed. That's how it happens. And his name was Casa Overall. And oh my goodness, like the music, the in just the 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 instrumentation the the beautiful um orchestra of of instrumentation uh from the music it was just beautiful i was just like blown away i was blown away from what i was hearing because it was just like it was it just blended so beautifully it was just beautiful man and i was very very um impressed with that because it was just very refreshing to hear something new to hear somebody just do something different against the grain like doing like expressing themselves their way not listening to a record label say hey make the millionth song sounding like the other million songs and like a million and one song sounding like the other million like no uh, where is the artistry the creativity and that day the answer was just like oh so it was it was really refreshing and i feel like that's what some of you all are doing with your creativity you're doing something very creative Pardon my son, he's in the background. This is the household, so you're gonna hear some living going on around here. People are gonna be talking and cats gonna be meowing as doors are gonna be closing and open. It's just it's it is what it is. It's real. But um so let's go ahead, let's see. So parenting came out for some of you all you were dealing with, you know, um a toxic child's mother or father. Um, and I say toxic because I was picking up earlier, like you was dealing with somebody that was definitely like in a competition, very jealous, uh, didn't mean you well, didn't want to see you succeed, didn't want to see you improve, um, and there was a lot of red flags, a lot of signs, um, and you now walking away, like, you'll never find another one like me, and I feel like they also realize that, like, they'll never find another woman or another man like you because you are rare, you're different, if you coming out all the ready, first card out of the deck is number three, creativity, that's the empress, so you're already coming out in your light. And I feel like, as I said, like, you know, with that positive force song, we got the funk, the positive force. I feel like you're radiating this love, this light, this confidence, this strength, this beauty. And, um, you know, somebody's definitely like feeling like, dang, they missed that opportunity. So with this physical activity, a death has occurred, uh, whether spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even in this physical reality, someone returned back to the essence, um, and this has also triggered some sort of change within you. There was a lot of healing that you had to do. Um, but I do feel like you 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 rejuvenated somehow. Um, you persevered through that. You learned. You grew through that. 13 is also your energy, the death card in traditional tarot. So there is absolutely like a rebirth. Um, there is like, you know, you're reincarnating as your divine feminine, divine masculine, um, as you should you know, as you should. So let's see, what is the outcome? Thank you, spirit. It came out quick. So time out. So I feel like some of you all need to take a pause, need to take a break. Um, because when you complete a karmic cycle, uh, yes, you have a new beginning. Yes, there's a lot of opportunities that you want to venture off into. Um, but I do feel like you need to wusa. You need to collect yourself. Um, you may need to just take a moment to, to, you know, plan to strategize the right way. Um, but this timeout is also 37. So this could be saying that, you know, you have been almost in that hermit mode. Um, you have been learning and growing. You have been going through that, that, um, element of like self-discovery. Um, and so now with this 37, it reduces to one. So now you're pushing forward and you're going towards your dreams because maybe you have already planned and prepared, um, which direction you're going to go. Uh, and I do feel like there's a lot of, um, there is to me, uh, because one is, that is the, um, one is the magician in ter uh, traditional tarot. And so I do feel like there's been a lot of intention, um, you know, manifesting, you know, what it is you want, like co-creating with source, uh, preparing, you know, for that new beginning, because you know, it's coming, uh, because that too showed up, which is the high priestess, 
Um, and so I do feel like you had this knowingness, this awareness uh, that it is, you know, it's very important to plan, to strategize, to set intention, uh, and also to co-create because now you're very much aware of your power, the power you possess, um, and what you're capable of because you've pulled yourself out of you know, that circumstance, whatever the circumstance was. But I do um, strongly feel like you're busy uh, planning something very, very beautiful. Uh, with you'll never find, um, I feel there's definitely no one else like you, like you're very unique. It's almost like you were rare, you know, um, someone realizes you're rare, you know, they, they realize like you were the, the angel, you know, you're the one that got away um, you are an earth angel to them. We got 27 spiritual partnership on the bottom of the deck. So definitely this is somebody who realizes the changes you've like, as I said, evolved, you've, you've definitely evolved. You've elevated, uh, your, your spiritual knowledge. Um, you've gained a deeper, more profound understanding and perspective of yourself. Uh, you have also tapped into your Christ consciousness to that God frequency and in doing so uh, you have now activated the divine masculine or divine feminine that is meant for you uh, you have someone coming in and this is not just any old type of partnership this is a spiritual partnership which means there is a tie a connectivity that you share with this person I feel when you bump into this person if you have never met them or when you meet them I should say you will feel the synergy you will feel the chemistry uh, because the spiritual connectivity is telling me that you all are are already connected in another dimension um, and that's why you're feeling uh, what you're feeling there's a, a like your spirits your souls are drawn to one another and so that could be the reason why you had to learn those lessons and heal from the karmic um, you know that you've dealt with that didn't appreciate or value you or see your worth um, because that you had to discover that within yourself self-love is you know the best love but that is an inside job to love yourself is an inside job you know so how you allow people to treat you is a very telling um it's telling in terms of how you feel about yourself so if you allow some succubus uh energy vampire to come around and just just be a trickster uh and to dupe you and gaslight you they're going to continue to do it um because they're very beguiling and they're very succubus that's just in their nature but when you wake up and you detach and you establish boundaries they realize like dang like what happened and it's because you've been always doing the work and and when you're constantly working on yourself you're constantly going to make improvements nobody's walking around out here perfect nobody's walking around out here just without any flaws um a lot of times people make excuses for the ways they are the why they're the way they are and what they've experienced that which is why they you know it's just an excuse if you want to be better that then the pr truth of the matter is you could become better if you don't like your circumstance in your situation instead of taking the position of someone who is a victim Take the stance of someone who is a victor and do whatever you need to do so as not to be that victim, so as not to walk around with that pain and that anger, that anger and that resentment, you know, being anchored energetically by that. People don't realize how that anchors you, you know, and, and it's like when you see somebody and you see how they get upset really quick, that's somebody who lacks self-control. They have no self-control and those are people who allow other people to validate them. And, and there's a saying that I always say here on the channel, and it's whoever angers you controls you. So you have to be in a mindset where you're in control of your own emotions. Because if you allow people to even get a gist that their opinion matters to the point where you're going to be all stressed out and overwhelmed, you'll be amazed at how many people, how many people will come around just to put your buttons, just to get a reaction. Because guess what they're doing? They're taking your energy at the same time. That's that succubus type of energy. So I learned that when I was dealing with my narcissistic ex, like homeboy would just pop up out of nowhere <laughs> and just pick a fight and I would fall for it. And then one day it was just like a light bulb moment. It was like, yo, stop, stop falling for the okie doke. Like what's wrong with you? And, and, and what would happen is they would come 
get me all riled up and then disappear i wouldn't hear from him for another week or two and then he'll pop up leave a max a message act like everything is cool act like he's inquiring on how everybody's doing and then he'll just like start another argument and then disappear it's like that's that's all he wanted was to just get a rise and i was giving it i was giving it so willingly and freely unbeknownst to me and then i wisened up so for many of you all you have to wisen up don't fall for the okie doke i don't care if it's somebody at your job that you can't stand that you just feel got it out for you whether it's a boss or whatever stop responding no response no pulse you get nothing nada you know what i'm talking about like that's what you got to give that 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 energy the the succubus energy those energy vampires you got to give them nothing and because when you don't give them nothing they can't feed off of you and guess what they're going to do they're going to find somebody else or they're just going to starve themselves out either way give them nothing but i digress so we got spiritual partnership here on the bottom of the deck so now you're attracting a very beautiful very synergetic connection and we have um troop and this is called I Will Always Love You, but the name of the attitude is, I mean, the name of the album is called Attitude. So that was a Freudian slip because I was looking at the word attitude and I said the name of the attitude and it's the name of the album. So, yes, yeah, so somebody that you have parted ways with, someone that you've severed ties with, they are going to have an attitude with you. They may already be displaying this attitude. Like I said, they could be smiling and beguiling in your face, acting like everything is cool in the gang. But deep down, there is like some real deep seated anger frustration and 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 um you know um disdain for you because you've created a boundary so just be mindful of that now shay so let's go ahead we're going to pick up some messages i'm going to use the dark grimoire because you know because this energy is coming out i just want to see what's like hidden you know this is very good deck to see what's hidden behind the scenes behind the veil because as I said, when you got somebody smiling and beguiling, it's like they're just smiling at you, but on the inside they're seething. So it's like they're not even really believing. Oh my goodness. Bottom of the deck of the dark grimoire is the seven of swords, beloved. And the way that this card is depicted, and I want to show you, but I don't want to, you know, because this is the dark matter series. But the seven of swords, I will um, tell you what it is. It is a man who's trying to sneak in on um, a gentleman who has his back turned and he's laying in the bed resting on his nightstand there lies a cup a lamp which is turned off a gun and a book so it's almost as if this person now this this person sneaking into the room this is the person I was picking up on this is what I was picking up on. Somebody who is very sneaky. Somebody who is like very um, beguiling. This is someone very deceptive, envious, in a secret competition, jealous, a trickster, a liar. Someone who just is a, just a gaslighter overall. Don't sleep on anyone, Scorpios, okay? Don't sleep. Even though you are death and even though they say sleep is the cousin of death, don't sleep on anyone because this person is waiting for the opportune time to attack. And so this person is going to try to strike when they think you're not on your P's and Q's. And the siren is going off at the same time I'm saying this. So this is spirit letting you know, like, be, you know, look alive, beloveds. You know what I'm talking about? Like, look alive, stay aware, stay alert, because you got somebody that's very jealous, very envious. This could potentially be an ex. This could be family, because I was picking up on all of that. This could be a mother, a father, a sibling. This could be family, friends, or foe, a coworker, a boss. Look alive, beloveds, because while you sitting here sleeping in la-la land and dreamland, this person is creeping in trying to attack. Now, yes, granted, you have a gun. You know you got to keep your guard up, but you're not protected at this moment because this person is creeping in looking to attack you. So you got to stay aware and use your intuition. That's why this two patience is here, um, because that also could be speaking to um, a potential threat. You know, somebody who's being very patient because for this seven of swords, for this person to be creeping in while you're resting, that shows patience. So they're not going to strike when they know you have the ability to counter attack. They're going to strike when they feel like you're not 
you're going to be like disabled, like you're not going to be able to respond. So that's about, you know, this person being very, very um, cunning, calculating uh, in their attack. And remember, I was picking up on the word attitude with this song, Truth. It says, I will always love you. Maybe somebody's trying to rock you to sleep to make you think that they love you, which could be an ex, a family member, a friend or foe or frenemy. And they're like, I, I will always love you. You know, um, but deep down what they really truly feel is the seven of swords. And remember the depiction, there's somebody creeping in a room in the middle of the night while someone is resting. Their back is turned to the door, but there's a gun and a book. And I always look at that book as like a Bible and what's better protections, God or guns. So that is the question that you all need to ask. For some of you, this could be somebody that may try to physically attack you. For others of you, this is somebody who could potentially be trying to use uh, some sort of um, witchcraft, black magic, uh, um, you know, hoodoo, voodoo, juju, santaria, black magic, or whatever. And you need to counter it by saying Psalms 23, Psalms 93. You need to really... Um, you know, really protect yourselves energetically, call on your spirit team, do your due diligence uh, to protect yourselves. But there's, I, I do feel strongly that you are protected, but I feel somebody's waiting for the opportune time, being very patient. It's just like a snake. You know, a, a snake is very, very patient. Most predators are very patient when they're about to um, attack their prey. And that's what I feel. I feel like this person thinks you're prey, but you're not. Just be mindful. And then we have um, we have um, Luther Vandross. And, and this is called the glow of love. And what did I say earlier? Like you have this glow. You're radiating love and light, confidence, strength, beauty. You're attractive right now. And somebody's very jealous because they're in some sort of secret competition with you, especially with this number three creativity. That's the empress. Um, even if you're masculine energy, you're in that energy of being very creative, very innovative. You know, you could be revolutionizing something right now, a sound of music, a sound, um, you know, just something different. You're bringing something very different, very refreshing. And there's some folks that could be trying to like dim your light, stunt your growth, you know thwart your plan so be mindful look alive and so we have the strength here so you're strong enough to to deal with this person i feel like this is what you are doing you you've discovered this because the, the strength card is depicted by this this lady this feminine energy she's holding like a candlestick and what's facing her is this big to this giant demon and so she has the strength to face her fears so it's like you've discovered what you was up against and you're fearless you know, with the glow of love, that's what this person is drawn to. They're, they're drawn to the love and the light, but your strength, the fact that you've taken control, the fact that you're standing in your power, this is what this person is really, really frustrated with. The, the fact that you're glowing, that you're beautiful. They're even pissed off because you've you've gotten away. Like they're looking at you like the one that got away. And we got the um, Knight of Pentacles here. So you got somebody very patiently waiting to come towards you. And there goes that tower. So there was some sort of sudden ending. This was like just um, something that happened suddenly. It was unexpected. You know, something came to light, some truth, some lies. Um, you've discovered something, but that, that ending always denotes a brand new beginning. And that's why I feel like, you know, with that time out, you took the time out to heal, to lick your wounds, to recover, to rejuvenate your spirit. Um, and with the six chalices, uh, that's the six of cups. So some of you all, there is somebody just sitting around daydreaming about you. Um, and this could be that person that came out with a relationship change because maybe, you know, you had somebody that was waiting for you to be single, waiting for you to be available um and they're like really you know thinking back to how you know things were between the two of you so we got two cards um that just flew out and we have the two of chalice i can't make this ish up i almost want to show you these cards so you can see i'm not y'all know how i do i don't talk because i have lips the two of cups and the king of cups just flew out together as i said you had somebody from your past that is daydreaming about you, thinking about you, thinking about this connection with the glow of love. This person is seeing you as someone that they have a lot of love, attraction, affinity. They are very much attracted to you and they have deep love and passion. And I feel like this person realizes that with you, they have an equal 
give and take. Like maybe this is somebody who could have, you know, been in another relationship and they lacked that. They lacked that give and take. They lacked the stimulation, the attraction. They lacked the you know, the chemistry and that synergy that I was picking up on with this creativity being clarified by the number two chalices that is letting me know somebody is absolutely coming in with just love on the brain. Like this is somebody that definitely wants to wife you, somebody who realizes you're the one, somebody who definitely sees a future. They can see that happy house, happy spouse, building a nucleus, a family, really sitting down and 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 planning and 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 providing. They want this connection because they feel like it's solid, that this relationship is very, very solid, very um very worth their time even. I feel like this person is definitely like going to be very attentive. This is beautiful. And we got Jill Scott singing not like crazy. Wow. So the King of Cups is chal um, clarifying the self-discipline. So that shows the healing, as I said. You know, the healing thyself. In order for you to know thyself, you got to heal thyself so that you could grow to love yourself. When you don't know who you are, what are you loving? What, you know, what, what attributes and characteristics have you discovered to love about yourself? So when you got some healing to do, you discover all of that because now you're more accepting of who you are and you're not judging yourself anymore. You're not judging, you know, what you, uh, experienced, what you allowed, what you endured. You're not looking at yourself as a victim. You know, you're learning the lessons and you're moving on. And that in and of itself is very healing. Because now you realize that, you know, there were things you needed to work on internally. And you also begin to discover that it wasn't any fault of anyone. This is just a part of our uh, journey. This is a part of our, you know, purpose is to discover the self. You got to discover who you are. And in order for you to do that, you got to know where you come from. So if you come from a, a family of, of broken women or broken men or alcoholic men or alcoholic women or people who were um, abused, then you're just going to be another one until you choose not to be, uh, you know, someone that passes that on to your children. So it was like somebody got to take the reins. Somebody got to take the stance to say, you know, that 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 generational curse stops with me. It ends with me. And and, and that requires strength. That's why that strength card came out with the quick fastness, you know. And so with this king of cups speaking to healing. And so this is what what you this is how you began to discover your your expression, the expression of yourself, the expression of your creative and artistic skills, gifts and talents. This is how you began to come into spiritual alignment, going through that personal growth, going through the space of awareness, awakeness. And now you are now in a space where you are very self-loving, you know, very devoted. And when you have self-love then you in part know you also know how to love others you know how to give love to others you have to first love you that's the first step as i said you know self-love is an inside job and so we have jill scott singing not like crazy and um this is a dope song i, I, I haven't heard this in a minute but this is a really beautiful song And so let me see, there's a lyric in here that Spirit wants me to share with you. So let me go back. For you. What you do is crazy, babe. Not like you belong in an asylum. Crazy, babe. Like the sun and the morning and the moon and night. Like the rain falling from the sky. Like the trees falling from the ground, I'm astounded, babe. Yeah, so so it's like she's saying it's it, it not like crazy. So with this this energy, this person that loves you, it's like maybe in their mind, 
it's like as i said they're thinking a lot about this connection because with the six of cups that's somebody that's like daydreaming thinking you know maybe trying to plan like how do i go towards that scorpio how do i you know profess this love and it's like to you maybe it's going to seem a little far-fetched because you're going to be so surprised at how much this person loves you but it's like it's because they're in love with all of you like whatever it is you embody who you are as a person because they've sat back and they've watched they've analyzed they've assessed this they've played it over and over in their minds and it's like they're looking at this situation like they love the fact that you have worked on you this new improved evolved ascended version of you the rebirth the growth you've evolved and 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 matured in ways that this person never even imagined and so it's like it's driving them crazy but not crazy in t in regards to them needing to be in a straitjacket but crazy like yo like it's crazy how the sun the moon and the stars you know are up in the sky like that's crazy like wow have you ever you know thought about why this happens like that's the type of crazy they're connecting with like yo it's crazy that i have these type of feelings and it's because they've never felt that before that's beautiful man spirit thank you for that so we have two of uh swords here so see that that's the decision the two of swords is on the bottom of the deck and then we have the two patients which is what i'm about to clarify so what did i say this like they're stuck in two minds and it's like they're almost second guessing themselves because they don't understand why they feel these feelings as deeply as they do the king of cups baby the king of cups loves deeply this is a king that doesn't really emote though they won't really go into details about how they feel they're just going to show you when they get the chance but this is somebody that won't express anything they'll just show you they'll just rain all of that love on you and so this person feels very deeply but they're trying to decide they're trying to decide how to come in and express this how to say these words so they're trying to patiently prepare remember i saw the knight of pentacles and that knight of pentacles is very patient he plans he strategizes because he wants the best outcome takes his time because he wants to get it right he doesn't rush like the knight of swords wands or cups he plans because he sees a future he wants longevity he wants to have you know a, a, a divine connection where there's a, a collaboration where there's an alliance where the two of you are growing and building a partnership um, this is somebody that's going to be willing to compromise as well so they're trying to choose the best course of action so that they can come towards you so why is this two patients here for my beloved Scorpios and we have um, we have Boz Scraggs and this is called low down so they're keeping it on the low you know, maybe they was dealing with somebody, a wife. This is why. What did I say about juggling? I was picking up on somebody kind of juggling. So maybe they are like parting ways, trying to figure out an exit strategy from a karmic they could be dealing with. Or maybe you've just completed a cycle and they were waiting for the opportune time for you to not only part ways from that ex, but heal and be ready for a new love opportunity. But I do feel like somebody was in a relationship, in a marriage or in a connection um, because this queen of pentacles is like the wife, the girlfriend, the fiance, the children's mother, the children's father. Um somebody could still be in a connection and they're trying to figure out how to get away maybe they're trying to get their coins together um being very patient to get their money up uh, so that they can move move out of a home that they could be sharing with someone uh we have the knight of swords here so definitely um not the knight i'm sorry the page of swords so the page of swords is telling me somebody is absolutely watching you they are absolutely like eye spying keeping tabs they're not saying anything because the sword is down but they're definitely like this is somebody who i feel is like kind of calculating because the way this page of swords looks is like the eyes are very dormant it's like black the eyes are black and then there's like on the um on the left of this uh this feminine energy on the card there's like lightning in the sky uh right behind 
this feminine energy is what appears to be like a pyramid there's a lot of clouds and smoke so it does feel like somebody is being cunning um if this is an ex because we got 63 parenting is what i'm about to clarify if this is like an ex you know like a children's mother father or even your mother your father this is somebody that really watches you and stalks you um this is somebody that's really like they got some sort of burning um you know some burning desire to like to 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 argue to to bring some sort of beef they got an attitude they're very angry um and they want to get something off their chest but they're waiting for an opportunity almost it's like this person is very low down you know because with low down it, it just feels like they, they they're low down dirty and, and and grimy i'm hearing onyx gritty low down gritty and grimy shifty low down gritty and grind shifty shifty so yeah this is somebody very shifty very grimy low down uh this was a mother father or the children's mother or father you know this could even be somebody that was a maternal or paternal figure so if you didn't grow up with your mother or father per se and it was an uncle or a cousin that stepped in to raise you i'm picking up on that energy as well but somebody is very like like I said, and if you look at this card, the way that this page of swords is just smiling so eerily, it's like an eerie smile. And I kept picking up on somebody being uh, like, you know, smiling and beguiling. And that's what this person does. They may smile a lot. So if you got somebody that be in your face and they constantly smiling just to throw you off, but your energy around that person is always like, yo, there's something about this person, even if it's family or friend go with your gut instinct because remember that seven of swords this is somebody trying to rock you to sleep and maybe through the smiling and beguiling you may put your defenses down put your guard down around that person but on that in the back of their mind they they trying to set you up line you up so be mindful of that you know why is parenting here divine spirit of love and light and so we have the seven of wands here so you definitely have your guard up. You are protecting yourself. You already realized that somebody was definitely not on your side. They did not have good intentions. So you are very guarded when it comes to this person. You've already established boundaries. You may not be doing much communicating. You may not be doing much, you know, interacting with this person at all. You may be keeping it very short, very, you know, if you have children with this person, you don't really get into too many conversations. Um, there's a possibility that if your children are old enough, you may have purchased their own phones so they could do their own conversation. You know, you don't have to be playing middleman between no toxic ex and the child. Like you just like, look, you, you call your daddy or your mother whenever you want to blah, blah 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 so this is like you're very guarded um this is you standing your ground standing up for what you believe in and you've also exposed um you know these people have exposed themselves for being the demons the snakes the fugazis the incubus succubus energy because there is a light that this masculine is holding up and with this light he could see all of the demons and so this is very powerful and so with um we got you two and it's the name of the song is called with or without you so i do feel like we got the ace of wands here so this is the ace of wands is on the bottom of the deck and we're about to clarify 37 time out so i do feel like a lot of you all had to make a decision to do something with or without another person and i feel like that's truly the root cause of why someone is very jealous and envious because maybe they didn't see you uh being successful they didn't see you really um, you know, establishing the boundaries for as long as you have, uh, with, with or without you, I feel like you have been able to reestablish, uh, your own independence with or without this person, with or without their, their financial assistance with or without their approval. You're doing you, you're moving forward because you've discovered your worth and value. So you don't need anybody to validate you. And with this ace of wands, you're moving forward and you have some sort of brand new beginning. And this is killing somebody. This is killing somebody. So let's see. Why is 37 time out here for my beautiful Scorpios? May have a message of love and light spirits. Thank you so much. So they gave me a message and they've got the same energy. The same old page of swords is stalking. They're watching, secretly plotting, planning, calculating some sort of attack. And it's because you are moving on with your life with 
with, without them. You know what I'm saying? You was willing to do it with them. They wanted to play games. They wanted to be controlling and cunning and manipulative and gaslight and be toxic. So you moved on without them. They're spying. You got a spy. You got several spies. Because this person isn't saying anything. I don't feel this communication. Because as I said on this card, the sword is down. But this person is very much frustrated. The world card is here. So you absolutely completed a cycle with this person. This is that car toxic karmic ex. And they're frustrated because you have reached a high higher level and understanding of yourself of the overall circumstance and you're not even bitter about it they're bitter you know what I'm saying while they're bitter you've become better and that's what they can't stand because you were able to do this without them they could have been trying to program and gaslight and mind up you to believe that you couldn't do something without them that you needed to be with them that in order to succeed in order to um, be able to establish yourself and you've proven them wrong and this is causing even more frustration more angst more aggravation within this person so this is very very telling so let me get a couple more messages and then we're gonna wrap it up so yep you've evolved you've transformed you've reincarnated as the queen of swords in true scorpio fashion you got the two of cups here so somebody is going to profess their love i feel like this is the yin to your yang because remember we saw a spiritual partnership so as you heal yourself and forgive those who have hurt you then you are absolutely free and i feel like you're now free and the seven of wands is here so you're very much protective and defensive but you have to be open and receptive because you don't want to block out what's absolutely meant for you as well just block Block out the negativity, the hate, the jealousy, but definitely be open and embrace the new that the divine is sending you. We got the temperance here. So temperance is all about patience. And remember, patience came out. It's also about, you know, taking the time out to heal yourself and to ground yourself. Uh, the, the emperor is also here. So that's the power, the control. Remember, the emperor showed up with the three creativity. So I do feel like, again, that emperor is never too far behind the empress. So someone is rushing in. The eight of wands is here with the emperor. So this is somebody that definitely likes what they see. And they feel like the two of you would match beautifully. Like they, they like the way you take control. They love the way that you um, you just have a very healing, nurturing, loving um quality they see how powerful you are how confident how attractive loving nurturing uh you may also be very domestic you could cook you and i heard you could cook your ass off whether you're masculine or feminine and that was something that you may have learned from like the the maternal or paternal uh figures in your family like a grandmother i'm seeing like a grandmother and you're just like baking biscuits from scratch cakes from scratch um i see a man on a grill you know with the elders you know maybe you learned how to grill really well i'm hearing grill master so it's like you know how to cook um you know how to keep house you're very domestic you're well-rounded you're not just a one-trick pony it's not like you're just a, a, a looker but you have nothing else to offer it's like you're all you all you know every woman i'm every woman i'm hearing whitney houston and shaka khan um so it's like you're every woman so it's like you have many layers you know and and that's why i feel like this person is going to be super attracted to you that's why they're going to feel like they're crazy because it's like dang why do i feel these feelings so like so deeply uh for my scorpio and it's because like this person has realized like like there's there's another layer just when they think they know you you show them something different um you show them something new that they love you even more you know it's just like they appreciate you even more with that that new quality or that new characteristic attribute um just it's just your 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 uniqueness um just very beautiful and we have um we have mariah carey featuring mariah carey featuring joe and Nas, uh, and this is called Make It Last Forever. So this is somebody coming in, like I said, with the intention to offer you something real, something that is going to, it's going to include uh, a future. This is about longevity, a legacy, building a family, a nucleus, you know, someone wanting to plant seeds and roots, um, even grow a business with you, uh, someone who wants something solid, someone who wants to build that alliance, that partnership. They want to have their homie love a friend. They want to have that like mind. They feel you're that. There's, there's too much synergy and chemistry uh, between the two of you, especially with the two of cups showing up. This is someone who feels like, you know, um, you complete them and they feel like they 
complete you. Uh, they there will be an equal give and take. Uh, and they're rushing in with eight of wands on the bottom of the deck. So let's see, why is creativity the two of cups here for um, our beautiful Scorpios? May I have a message of love and light, spirit. So this person wants to make it last forever. So that sounds like marriage. And look at this, the six of cups, somebody from your past. And this is somebody that definitely, like I said, this is somebody that has this strong attraction and affinity towards you. They can't get you out of their mind. They can't get you out of their head. They may have walked away in the past or something happened in the past where the timing was off. It wasn't the right timing. And they're doubling back, coming back because the chemistry, the connection, this feeling that they have, they can't shake it. They want to make this last forever. They don't want to ever let you get away. Like, they don't want to let you get away. You're the one that got away, and they're going to come back and get you. And we got the Page of Pentacles here. So they want to offer you something real, something tangible. They definitely want to take you to the chapel. I'm hearing, going to the chapel, and I'm going to get married. I'm hearing that so loud in my mind's eye. And that's what this person wants to do. We got the 41 um, self-discipline which was clarified by the King of Cups, and now we have the Queen of Swords. They're going to communicate something to you. This this King of Cups that doesn't express themselves, um, they're a little apprehensive because you're in that Queen of Swords energy. And remember, I just said if you want love, you have to be open and receptive, not to the wrong people. Use your intuition and use discernment, and also don't go against and your, your better judgment. That inner wisdom will always guide you. So trust your intuition. But with this person, your sword is up. So it's like your open and ready to communicate somebody is going to express themselves and they're going to tell you that they love you and more importantly i feel like they're gonna like ask that the two of you they want to be serious like they can see a future they want that happy house happy spouse baby this is somebody that that they can't see their selves with anyone else they can't see themselves with anyone else but you and with this queen of swords there's like doves all around this queen so I'm telling you, like, this is somebody that wants to reconcile because I feel strongly this is someone from your past coming back because the six of cups came out to clarify the three creativity and the two of cups. And with the two and the six, I mean, the two and the six of cup, that means that that's the eight of cups. So either you walked away from this person because they wasn't hitting on nothing. You know what I'm saying? And this is not that toxic ex I was picking up earlier, the parenting. This is not them. This is somebody else. That you had a dope chemistry connection with, but it just kind of fizzled. You know, things didn't go as far as far as you were uh, were hoping, and it's because there was competition. See that? I'm about to clarify the two patients and the uh, Queen of Pentacles. Somebody was married, and that's why Spirit was telling you be patient. Good things take time to create. Somebody had to leave a situation behind. We got um, brand Nubians, and this is called "Don't Let It Go to Your Head." So somebody was all gassed up because they had a lot of options, or maybe they had a lot of suitors. You know what I'm talking about? And so somebody could have like gotten distracted by these options. You know, they thought the grass was going to be greener on the other side and it turned out to be just plastic, artificial, superficial. It wasn't hitting on nothing. This person didn't, you know, it didn't, whoever they was dealing with, it was competitive energy. Number one, um, it was competitive energy with you, whether they realized that or not, they was c c utilizing these other people to take their minds off of you when in, in actuality, um, they deeply loved you. You know what I'm saying? So with don't let it go to your head. Maybe they had a lot of people that was biting for their time, biting for their attention. That was really attracted to them and they let it get to their head and they got gassed. You know what I'm talking about? And so they got gassed and they was up in la la land like a balloon. And I feel like you deflated them because you wasn't chasing after them like the rest of these da da You focused on yourself. And that's why this person is looking at you like, cause, uh, da damn, because it's like you done grew spiritually you're looking good you're confident you know what i'm saying you got your ish on, going on like you're doing good you 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 you're self-made you know and 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 it's been a very long process but you've been very patient and very diligent very obedient it's like you've mastered yourself and these 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 dudunts that they were stuck with they looking at them like ugh like what was i doing with my life I got to make better life decisions, man. So let's see. Why is this two? Um, okay, it didn't fall out. I'm going to, I got to get a card that falls out. I take the jumpers, baby. All right. So we got this two of cups and it's clarified by, what did I say? The eight of cups. See that? So now this person is like looking at situation, like they're reflecting on what they truly want. They trying to figure out how can they recapture what they once had, you know? 
they had it in their hand and they let it get away because it says don't let it go to your head no so they allowed all of the suitors that was attracted to them and interested and like i said biting for their time and energy um to go to their head and they chose to go towards you know what seemed to be like what seemed to be the better option at the time and so you may have walked away and so but this person now like i said they're trying to make better life decisions and what they're doing is they're planning to leave and escape whatever this situation they got themselves caught in so that they could come towards you because they're making a decision now because they're emotionally unfulfilled mentally un they're not stimulated these people like i said they could have just been very attractive you know physically they was just lookers just handsome just fine just had a car but the sh it, was, it was just a shell of a person you know what i'm saying and so we have the um seven of pentacles here so the seven of pentacles is really showing me that um there was a lot of of time and energy you all invested in a relationship with the mother or fathers of your children and you felt very much um unfulfilled but spirit noticed all the hard work and effort you put into that and and you're going to get a return on your um, investment you know if you all were in a marriage or in a relationship and you thought it was going to lead to to i mean if you were in a partnership with someone um and you thought it was going to lead to marriage and everything like it, it may have not and it ended but what happened was you know those seeds that you sowed spirit noticed that it didn't go unnoticed so you're going to get a return on your investment there's going to be a big payout and that's why you're very guarded because you're not settling for less you're not willing to pay you know you're not your soul is not for sale this time around so even if somebody comes back talking about hey baby baby please you know what i'm talking about like you gave them many chances you're not falling for the okie doke no more seven of pentacles is like spirit is saying okay you you made all the you know the seven of pentacles that's a lot of work time effort and so we got Tedra Moses again, again saying, rescue me. So I feel like y'all going to have somebody come back and rescue you. And we got the Ten of Pentacles that just flew out with force. Somebody's coming back to rescue you and offer you exactly what you deserve because of the changes you've made. 63 is the highest number of change. You've changed. You've learned to protect yourself, your energy, and to also stand in your truth at all times. Stand up for what you believe in. And so that's why this Ten of Pentacles is here because you want somebody that's on a, going to also um, fulfill you emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, financially. Like somebody you could build and grow with. That family, that nucleus. You got a king of wands here. This is who you had to take a time out from because this person had all this passion and this king is looking very angry. And this is the time out card along with the page of swords. So if some of you all were dealing with um, a fire sign, this person is still angry. I was picking up somebody very angry, calculating. And this person that, that it came out, it flew out. And the page of swords is on the bottom of the deck. This person stalks you. They stalk your life online. They could be doing background checks. They could be doing all kind of ish, trying to just, 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 um, damn, this person is really like nosy. I just pick up on something because the page of swords came out twice in the, the, um, king of wands. So this is somebody that was very controlling, but they have some sort of misplaced anger with you. You know, they act like they was rescuing you and they, all they was doing was keeping you stuck. This is somebody that wants to keep you stuck and stagnant. Someone very, very calculating. The Page of Swords, you got the Nine of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Look at this energy. That's crazy. So this pay, this King of Wands is very, like, because that energy is very fiery, you know, very explosive. So, yeah, mind your back, mind your front, man, mind your sides. And if somebody's smiling and beguiling in your face, trust me, if you don't see their teeth, they fake them fugazi. Because <laughs> if somebody's really smiling at you, they're going to show some pearly whites, you know. But I feel like this person smiles a lot, but behind that is very, they're seething. There's anger, there's frustration, and they're stalking your life. You got somebody that's like very, very um, determined i don't know what they're trying to find but i just see somebody like researching investigating looking up shit maybe they're trying to figure out if you're with someone else you know if this is a parent um you know to your children or something like this person is like really up in your in your business maybe with this song rescue me you all do 
develop new connections with someone else and um this person comes in as like you know to to rescue you from that toxic ex um and this person is watching with disdain just anger you know so watch yourselves watch your back this is your reading beloved scorpios i hope the messages resonated if you found that it did please be kind hit the like share subscribe button um and hit the bell notification uh deactivate it and re-enable it or disable and re-enable the notification bell so you can get the uh messages okay when i upload okay um and hopefully you stay a while if you are new if you are returning you already know what it is beloveds love is love is love until next time i send a big fat i shall peace